Welcome to GIZ's initiative between lecture hall and project work. GIZ believes that sustainable development needs inputs from all parts of society. This way, development practices can adjust to the world's ever-changing demands. Alongside international cooperation, academia has a special role to play in sustainable development because there are hardly any academic subjects that are not linked to international cooperation issues. This is the reason why GIZ created Between Lecture Hall and Project Work back in 2001. The initiative promotes knowledge sharing between specialists in international cooperation and university students. Students are given the opportunity to apply what they have learned in their courses while GIZ employees benefit from current research findings. But how is the initiative set up? Between lecture hall and project work offers a framework for dialogue between academic knowledge on the one hand and applied knowledge on the other. It aims to enrich academic life with practical insights and international cooperation with innovative ideas. Between lecture hall and project work is a competition and the winners will be those who are able to turn their knowledge and new insights into practical solutions for the field. There are many study programs in Germany that offer a variety of seminars which have direct relevance to international cooperation and development topics. Since 2001, we contact those lecturers at different universities and engage their students to build a bridge between their theoretical knowledge and a GIZ project abroad in the fields of rural development, sustainable infrastructure, security, reconstruction and peace, social development, governance and democracy, economic development and employment, or environment and climate change. Alone or in a team of maximum two persons, the students select a GIZ project they would like to work on. A list of possible projects will be provided by the organizing team. To learn more about GIZ projects, please visit this link. The students are asked to define a research question related to the GIZ project they chose. Ideally, a win-win situation between the interests of the students and those in the GIZ project will be achieved. In that case, the research question is selected and formulated in the way that assures working on the question gives the students a good insight into the project work and at the same time generates conclusions and results that are interesting and relevant for the GIZ project in the field. Based on the research question, the students will prepare a maximum 3-minute video or animation that presents the results. There are different approaches to work on a GIZ project. Students could analyze the project and formulate possible recommendations for the future or include alternative approaches to reach the project's goals. They could also apply suitable theories to the project, for example the multi-level approach or the game theory. After the students have submitted their videos, a jury will select the 10 best contributions, according to specific criteria. The final 10 candidates or teams will be asked to present their insights to another jury and the audience of the final symposium of the initiative. The symposium is taking place at one of the GIZ headquarters and is the final event of the initiative. The high-ranking jury will award the top three participants or teams with paid internships to a GIZ project of their choice, giving them a further opportunity to gain insights into development project work. Of course, all participants receive a certificate confirming their participation. Are you interested in taking part in the initiative? Please visit our homepage for detailed information on hörsalonprojekt.alumniportal.com or write an email to hörsalonprojekt at grz.de. By the way, Zwischen Hörsal und Projekt is the original German title of the initiative, but the competition is implemented in English. We are looking forward to your application.